Hey, uh, if you hear noise in the background, it's uh, Andrew watching Doctor Who. Uh, so, to start, you're going to need the basic crane base. Uh, this is just a piece of worksheet paper, I didn't have anything else. Um, so, you have the crane base. You're going to get the two top parts here. I'm just going to pull so that flattens out and lay it on a flat surface. And sorry, I don't know any of the names of the folds, so it was a while ago. Alright. So yeah, you just flatten it out like that. Peek on the other side. And make sure they go in the same direction. And there. I'm gonna flip it. Here's what it looks like. From here you're gonna flip it over. You're gonna go on each side and fold these edges to the center crease. make it thinner. Down here you'll have issues with this. Just try and deal with it as best you can. That's what this looks like now. So you're gonna flip, you're gonna keep it on this side, and then fold it in half. You should now have this long skinny piece. What we're gonna do first is right here, these go like this. Fold it like that, so it's straight down from this point, and repeat. Yeah, take one tip, flip it up like that. The other side and repeat. Now for the claw bit, you just do the same thing, opposite direction. Boop. Other side and repeat. There you go, you have the legs. Now because this point is here, this this point points to the tail. So that is this way. For the head, I'm gonna do one of these moves. No clue what it's called, I'm sorry. And then just however long you want the neck to be, you choose. Just do one of these in the opposite direction. Like if you're making the crane head. You want to make sure you have a good bit of length. Because then you go, and however long you want the head to be, Ooh. 
Right. You fold it back. Just, sorry, uh, like this. Fold it back, so it's in between. There you got the head, and this is the horns. Usually I'll just go and use my finger and uh, open it a bit so I can curl it up like horns. All right, tail, it's pretty much the same process, but you just gotta make it. Um, do, 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 do. The key point is you want this part, which is going to be the part on the ground, to always match up with about there. So it'll, it'll set right. Make sense? Just want them to match up. There you go. There's his little wiggly bitty tail. That is your sea serpent.